Tom needs you. He keeps bugging me about it. Desdemona. I have a report here. It reads more like a comic book. Apparently, one hell of a fight took place at Green Tech Genetics. Oh. What have you heard? One of our agents took a courser. Alone. Something I'm not even sure Glory could do. And that agent is you. I'm all for one less courser in the world, but why'd you do it? Do you know anything about decoding a courser chip? You have one of their chips? Intact? Follow me. Now. Decoding a courser chip is a very delicate operation. A million things Sorry, can go wrong. Tinker Tom's the least of doing... which is losing the data. Fortunately, we have the right man for the job. Hey, dude. You need something? Tom, we got a courser chip. Whoa! For real? Oh, man, it's been ages! You've hit the jackpot with this. Hand over the chip. Let's see what's on it. What can we get off the Courser chip? Those chips have more than just codes on them. Everything from how it's made to what it's made from tells us something about our enemy. One minor detail could mean the difference between life and death for our agents and the synth we're trying to save. Now hand it over and let's get it analyzed. Here you go. All right, Tom, make it happen. All right, little Corsair chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. We're in. Chip accessed. Just poke the analog connectors a little. What? Oh man, don't don't, don't crash. Hold it together. Memory hiccup. Here it comes. Encryption algorithms. All right. All right, we're still running. Oh man. They've added more decimals to the last cipher. This is gonna be. Come on, baby. Show me that pattern. Where is it? Wait. They're using the same logarithmic function as the key generator. Oh man, we got lucky. I got you, you institute bastard. I got you. Software in. Come on. Show me that sweet base. Come on, baby. There we got it. We got the code. <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for ya. Good work, Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not sure our luck will hold up next time, Des. And Agent, I hope that helps you as much as you've helped us. Good work. Des has given me clearance to set up my atmospheric sensors. Finally, I can prove that the Institute is terraforming the Commonwealth. Eat that, Carrington. I wasn't sure I'd see you again. You managed to get what you need? Do you have anything for me? I'll take that as a yes. Can't say I'm too surprised. You did get rid of Kellogg after all. Not too much of a leap to take down a courser. How'd you manage to get it decoded? Does it matter? No, you're right. It doesn't really. The point is that you got it. You're not the only one who's been busy. I did the best I could. From memory and things I've overheard through the years. Came up with some schematics for you. Wasn't easy. These hands are ridiculous. Fine motor skills have gone to shit. Here's the simple explanation. You need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers and send you instead. You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music station. That's the carrier signal for the relay. 
All the data's on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was bioscience, not engineering or advanced systems or anything. Bioscience? Advanced systems? Divisions within the Institute. Specialized groups working on various projects. It'll make sense later, but if you can build this device and make use of that code, you should be able to override the signal from the Institute's relay, can you? I mean, can you build it? You have people that can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. This device, this will get me into the Institute? Yes, if built correctly. And please get it right. You have to make it in there for both our sakes. And don't you forget our agreement. I've helped you as best I can. If you make it in there, you find that serum. It's my only hope for ever being normal. So you find it. Now go on. Take these and get to work. You do whatever it takes. Call on whoever you know to help you. Protect and serve. That smells absolutely terrible. Don't much care for good neighbor. That place is Nick, the trouble. time to hit the road? Let's head out. Well, all right. Damn, I uh, forgot to pick up that motor oil for you, Valentine. Cute, McReady. You come up with that all on your own? What do you need, General? Can you... Take a look at these schematics. A scientist named Virgil said they could get me inside the Institute. The Institute? Why in the world would you want to mess around with them? Can you help me or not? We'll give you whatever help we can. Don't worry about that. Now, assuming you could build this thing, what exactly does it do? This is Radio Freedom, broadcasting all day. Did you know the Institute has a teleporter? They call it the Molecular Relay. Teleportation? For real? That would explain a lot about how the Institute manages to operate. If anyone can make heads or tails of those plans, it'd be Sturgis. I haven't found anything yet that he couldn't build or fix. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause.
got a dangerous look about you. going on Preston thought you might be able to figure out these plans for me sure thing let's see what you've got do you think you can build this wow what a mess hmm. looks like uh, encrypted RF transmissions okay so that gets routed through what the hell teleportation this is some pretty crazy shit. You sure it's for real? I got this from someone who should know what he's talking about. Can you build it or not? Well, yeah. I think so. Anyway, the eggheads never think about the nuts and bolts of actually making something work. But, uh, looks like it's all here. Yeah, I'm gonna need some time to study this thing. The handwriting's pretty hard to make out. But, uh, you can get started on what he calls a stabilized reflector platform. Uh, it'll need some pretty high-grade metals, but it's basically not that different than the lining of a jet engine or something like that. Can you give me a list of what I'll need to build this platform? Yeah, sure. Here's a list of what you'll need for the first piece. I'm pretty sure we've got all that at Sanctuary, if you want to build it there. While you're working on that, I'll get busy figuring out how to actually build the rest of this thing. Keep in mind, I can already see this is gonna take a crazy amount of juice. Like if you had a spare nuclear reactor handy, we could probably use it. <laughs> and it's gonna be big. So find a nice open building site with lots of power available. Bombing's as honest, as honest work it gets. How's it going? Did you find a good spot to build your signal interceptor? Did you figure out the rest of Virgil's schematics? I think so. Best I can tell until we actually try to put it together. Here's a list of three things that may be harder to find. I think I'll be able to pull together everything else we're gonna need. I'll meet you over at the building site and see if we can actually make this thing work. Can you explain how this thing is actually gonna work? Let me break it down for you. There's uh, four main parts to this thing. One, a control console to input the code and process the signal. Two, what he calls a relay dish. That's what intercepts the, uh, the teleporter signal. Three, a molecular beam emitter. Gets pretty technical here, but uh, Looks like this is what translates your matter into energy for transmission. <sighs> Four, the stabilized reflector platform that you already built. That's what concentrates and reflects the molecular beam. One thing to keep in mind while you're building this, it all needs to be wired together so all the pieces can talk to each other. I'll see you over at the building site. Good luck.
everything hurts.
someone should make use of it. Over there. Someone's coming. Only a fucking cow. Wait there. There's something. Come on. A bomb could go off in this place, and no one would be the wiser. What the uh, resident the guy named Kent, whose name I should not be saying on the air. He was supposedly rescued by the shroud, or at least that's what I heard. So now there's a uh, there's a superhero out there.
They must want to protect something. Awful precious. Someone was expecting... ...in trouble.
This isn't the kind of place I like to dawdle. Stupid! No! Oh! Oh! Rip. Took some bright minds to build a place like this.
everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Sturgis. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Shouldn't we test it first? I wish we could, but we've only got the one frequency code. There's no way to test it without actually jacking into the Institute signal. And as soon as we do that, we've used our one and only chance. As soon as the Institute figures out what we did, and I gotta believe those Brainiacs won't be caught napping twice, that code we've got is useless. Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an Institute signal to lock onto. Then, I fire her up and we see what happens. I'm ready when you are. Okay. Hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Hey, uh, by the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. Yeah, th this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh, just there for decoration. Okay. Scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking RF. And got it. Hold on to your butt. <laughs> 